I get you tangled like this, Michael Thorne? Okay. <laughs> people of the internet welcome back to my channel my name is Ronnie Jo and I'm a registered dietitian who does things here on YouTube I hope y'all are having a good week so far yeah and just getting through getting through what we have to get through <laughs> Um, you could have probably guessed by the title of this video, but we are going to talk about, about, <laughs> we are going to talk about bread, specifically diet culture's obsession with bread and more specifically diet culture's plot against bread. Because if you are alive today, you have probably been told by some source, some person, some website some influencer, that you should not eat bread. And I just think that's really sad. So I'm gonna kinda go over what bread is, a little bit of the history of bread, and why you definitely should not be afraid of bread. I'm gonna throw the disclaimer, I don't know where I'm putting it now, but maybe here, disclaimer. Disclaimer. Remember, I'm just a stranger here on the internet, and you need to talk to other people who know you, specifically health professionals who know you, before you change anything about your diet or life. And please stop taking advice from strangers on the internet first. Thank you. So, Bread. I actually brought, we're almost done with this loaf of bread. Um, yeah. Okay, so the history of bread. There are a few different sources that say a few different things. Some sources say it's like 30,000 years since bread was created, but the first like recorded incidence of bread is 8,000 BC in the Middle East. And so since then, every culture has been doing their version of bread. Yes, even diet culture does its version of bread. But it's not the same as like, a, like actual cultures. <laughs> um, so in Mexico, you have tortillas. Um, you know, in the Mediterranean, you have pita. And then, of course, here in America, we have like sandwich bread and stuff. So bread has been the vibe for a very long time and for a lot of people. White bread specifically, you know, like the bunny bread or the bread you can get at the Dollar Tree and stuff, um, it was created in like the 20th century, like before the school lunch service program started, we had a lot of malnutrition in the country and so that was kind of a way to help combat that malnutrition by adding the vitamins and minerals back into the bleached, processed bread that could last a whole lot longer. So why have we been using bread for this long? Well, one, it's very versatile. You can use it for lots of things. As I said, there are many versions of bread for many different cultures. It's easy to make and keep the essential ingredients. The main ingredients are flour and water, and then you can add yeast and sugar and other ingredients to kind of make different kinds of bread. So it's fairly easy to make and then it keeps fairly well for a long time. Bread is also a really good source of energy and carbs. So in places that don't have access to a lot of food, bread is a really great way to get some nutrients and some energy and some calories into your body. When diet culture tells us to avoid bread, it's usually because one, bread is high in carbohydrates. It's also higher in calories than bread alternatives like, like a lettuce wrap or a bell pepper, but it's because it has more nutrients than the lettuce wrap and bell pepper, which isn't a bad thing. Bread provides us with fat. Lettuce wraps and bell peppers do not give us fat. And protein, same goes for the protein. 
because the gluten in the wheat and the bread is the protein. As far as carbs go in bread, we have sugar, which gives us immediate energy. Then we have starch in the bread, which gives us a little bit la longer lasting energy. And then we have fiber to help regulate that sugar throughout the day. It also has naturally occurring vitamins and minerals, as well as we talked about earlier, vitamins and minerals that can be added back into the bread. And I know on this channel, I always talk about increasing your fiber intake. When it comes to bread, if you are eating a lot of fiber throughout your day, like if you are eating oatmeal and you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, you may not need a whole grain bread, which is why you should talk to a healthcare professional before you change anything. But whole grain breads are a wonderful way to get fiber, but white bread is also a very valid choice, especially if you are already getting enough fiber throughout your day. So moral of the story is that you really shouldn't be afraid of bread. I mean, <laughs> bread's been around for 10,000 plus years and we're still here. So is bread really the problem? Is it bread? Is it bread? Bread is usually the solution. I know that this was a short video today, but I don't know, I've just been doing these short videos. And I really wanted to talk about bread. I think next week I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna do a really like in-depth research about the keto diet and specifically why I don't suggest it for most people. I'm gonna like do a lot of research on it. So next week will be a longer video, I think. Just trying to get back into a routine here, trying to get some sense of sanity back into my life since moving. So moving takes so much out of you, I swear. It's just a lot. Thank you for tuning in. Please let me know if you need anything. Please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. And above all else, please stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.